Welcome back, welcome back to Erica Keeping It Real. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all day going on? <clears throat> How's y'all Sunday? Oh, I'm at work, ready to get off. My hair looks terrible. I ain't been having a chance to do my hair. Well, have my daughter do my hair. But, um, y'all, I just wanted to get on her and ask y'all, how do y'all feel about y'all kids starting school back? Oh, it look a mess. It's great. This I'm gonna be looking like that in a minute, y'all. But um, I just want to get on her and hi and see how y'all feel about this back to school. Do y'all want to homeschool y'all kids? Do y'all want to do them virtual? Do y'all want to go in the building? How do y'all want to do this back to school stuff? I mean, I asked God for years to cover my kids with the blood as they go to school but it's so much stuff going on out here i went over my um auntie house yesterday and um my cousin was there and they was having a conversation my cousin and my sister and them and i was listening and i'm not gonna touch about it on her but it was some deep stuff that was going on and i was like oh my god and they really caught my attention and it was a good conversation and some stuff that i didn't know that i needed to know so um by that being said you know what i'm saying it, it made me kind of think about like my son you know what i'm saying he i mean my like i said i got now in august the end of august an 18 year old to 21. i have four and well i got five a little boy he 10 he just turned 10. but it just make me think like mm, i want to send him to school but then again i don't want to send him to school I don't know. It's just a lot to think about. I don't know what that is. But it's just a lot to think about. You know, and then there's so much stuff going on out here. It's what other kids are supposed to. And then your child, they, you know what I'm saying? Then your child is supposed to because the other kid. It's just a lot. But um, <clears throat> anyway, that's what I wanted to talk to y'all about. Like, this really going back to school like the summer flew back like so fast and then in the summer i went where i wanted to be so it's like i couldn't get my baby the summer that i wanted to give him because my summer was rocky you know what i'm saying i didn't get to do as much as i wanted to do with him but i mean we did get some stuff in like he went to six flags and you know he not a pork person like my son is crazy. And comment down below. My son, 10 years old, he into the video games. I get He into the video games. He loves his video games. But he like an antisocial kid. And his, de his mama said his daddy was like that. But like, I asked my son, like, you want a birthday party? No. Like, you, and like, my other kids wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? My other ones. They wanted the birthday parties. They wanted to go over their auntie's houses and spend a night and do that. But you know what? It's all too like our generation when we was talking about too. Our gen well, our generation when we when we was coming up, it was so different. So I'm an eighties baby. And it was <clears throat> people say it still was bad, but it was so different. Like we can go bike ride. You know what I'm saying? And my son, 10 years old, and I'm scared for him to walk to the bus stop by himself, though. It's like now, you know what I'm saying? And comment down in, below. I want y'all to comment. I want y'all to, you know what I'm saying? Comment. Let me know. Let me, I mean, come on. Comment. Like, how's y'all opinion? Like, how, how do y'all do that? Do y'all, um, do y'all take y'all kids to school? Do they ride the bus? Well, you don't have to tell me that, but I'm just saying I mass ride the bus. And he started yet last year. At first I was taking him back and forth. And it it it's it shows I, I I just was scared. I was frightened. Like one day he um got off at his friend's stop. 
And normally he get home at a certain time. And I'm like, hold on, my baby ain't at home. Man, I was about to call, go looking for him. And then it, it, it it's really ridiculous how when your kids get out of school and the school closed at 4 o'clock. Y'all don't call if, if a bus delay or something, a bus catch a flat or anything in life. Because life happened. So if anything, y'all can't, these parents is going crazy looking for their kids. And the school, they can't report back to the school because the school closed at 4 o'clock. Which I think a school should close at 6 o'clock. When everybody, I think when the, the bus riders say, we got the last kid dropped off. Okay, close the school down. But y'all close the school down as soon as the kids get out the building. Like, it's still kids riding the bus. It's parents, like, and I know some people started, started school last week. My son, he started Monday. I know it's going to be chaos. I know it's going to be, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't no point of calling the school because, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I got my son a phone. Me and my husband was very, very against that for a long time. We did not want to get him a phone because already the ne the um, electronics, it's like these electronic devices, it's like ridiculous. Like my grandbaby, yeah, I'm a, a, a young grandmother, yeah. But um, but like my grandbaby, he'll get on the phone and he know how to work it more than me and he only three. You know, so it's just so much stuff going on. It's so much new electronics and new devices and doing this and doing it's just a lot a lot a lot like a lot going on and i mean i'm ready for him to go back to school but i'm not ready for him to go back to school this summer flew back so so fast these days it's already the what 18th and the 18th of august it's it's like it was just the first of july you know what I'm saying? It was just like, I don't know. These days are going back so, so, so fast. And like I said, you know, jumping back and forth to everything. Like, we used to ride the bikes. Like, we used to jump um, double dutch. We used to, and now you see like the generation. Like, I tried to get my kids outside one day looking at, um, I'm at work. I'm looking at one of the, you know, the, the stuff. but I tried to get my kids outside. They was all in the living room, laying all over on the couch and stuff. What they and just, you know, what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm like, um, come on, you know, what I'm saying, come on, you know. So I took their phones. I said, now I got three girls and two boys. Uh, and um, I I got the rope like I I I got a double edge rope, and I got the turning, and I got learned them, showed them how to turn, and I was you know having fun, and they like oh my God it's hot out here, when can we and you know what I'm saying, and that they hear their phones being I I I'm like yeah, like my daughter, she 20. She go to sleep with it, wake up with it, go to sleep. I, we be talking in the corner. I'll be like, dang, you on the phone? Like, come on now, put these down sometimes. You know what I'm saying? These electronics is terrible. My son, like, he didn't want to do, like, he wanted to, the game, the game, game, game. I had, um, went to the bathroom and I heard talking and I go, look. I looked um, on the thermostat. It say four thirty. I say, boy, you give me, give it her, give it her. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's ridiculous. I don't know what's going on with these electronics. With these electronics, got these kids like, oh my god. We didn't. And and comment down below. If I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Some electronics is good. Me, I don't know how to do work half of it though. But it's like. I ain't gonna lie. I'm an 80s baby. I would have put a roll cameras and the cameras where you had to go get them developed. You know what I'm saying? Had to go get your film developed at Walgreens, come back, pick them up. You know what I'm saying? That that was the good that you know what I'm saying? To me it was. The double dutch and then the house phone. Them birds loud. 
then the house phone, and then, you know what I'm saying? It, it ain't, it ain't none of, like, the answer machines, and it ain't none of that no more. It ain't none of that. I mean, it's not, it's, it's, it's none of that. It's just all about, the like, you had to go to the grocery store and actually get your grocery. Well, they said back in the days, like, before our time, though, they did used to, like, send their clothes off to get washed, milk deliveries and stuff. But our day and age, you could go, like, now you could shop and get your groceries. People could deliver you food. Like, it, it used to be, like, the piece of man that the death deliver now you can um you could get somebody the uber eats and all and i ain't knocking it i mean hey y'all came up i wish i would have came up with it but i mean it's just so much stuff like oh your girl looking bad but it's so much stuff though but i just wanted to get on her and tell y'all hey i haven't seen y'all beautiful faces well i haven't seen, heard from y'all but I haven't been on her like I should, um, and I miss y'all, and it's more to come, but like I said, it's back to school, I'm nervous, I want my baby to go, but I'm kind of nervous, so, yeah, so just comment down below, and let me know how y'all doing, how y'all day been going on, how y'all week going on, um, what y'all doing, y'all cooking Sunday dinner, you know, I was gonna um I was gonna cook a, I don't know I might still put the roast uh, I was gonna put it in a I, you know what I might just do it tonight because I was gonna put it in the oven but I forgot I, I my crock pot is out so put it in the crock pot let it slow cook and we'll eat it for Monday or so but anyway I just want to share that with y'all and like I said this Erica I just want a little conversation with y'all. You know, just see, and I'll be back. I love y'all. Don't leave you so long again. Love you. Have a nice, beautiful day. Erica, keep it real. Back. Peace.